Everyone knows a little about plagiarism. The federal government's Office of Science and Technology Policy has defined it as the appropriation of another person's ideas, processes, results, or words without giving appropriate credit. This definition is used by all federal funding agencies and applies not just to completed publications, but also to any proposals you make. To be blunt, plagiarism at any point in the process is essentially research misconduct. Here's a bottom line save your career way to review your work for the OSTP's QCR factors before you submit. Quotation. Make sure that you indicate the words of others by using quotation marks, block indentation, or some other form of offsetting text. Instead of copying and quoting a lot of standard text like mission statements or university boilerplate, consider linking to the website that has that original information. Citation. Citation styles vary, but generally use some type of in-text notation with footnotes or endnotes. No matter which style you use, make sure you provide enough information so that those reading your research know where you got that content. Using someone's work as if it's your own is plagiarism, but so is resubmitting your own work without proper acknowledgement. Yes, you may sometimes need to cite yourself. Reference no matter the source type, you must remember to provide documentation. Graphs, protocols, procedures, and images from textbooks or other places need the same respect as words. The only images you can use without any citation are your own unpublished works and items in the public domain. If you need images, search for ones labeled for reuse with a Creative Commons license. Google Image Search has a Search Tools menu with Usage Rights filter options. Be sure to cite these images too. Still not sure what to quote, cite, or reference, or how to do it? You can contact the Proposal Development Center, Office of Research Compliance, your Office of Sponsored Programs Representative, or your friendly librarian.